Okay, great. So uh, this is our fourth event at the park this year. Uh, so we are good to go for Saturday. So if anyone was concerned, the race is going to happen. This is actually the second trail run. Uh, we had one uh, about five weeks ago that was really successful. And based on that feedback, it's kind of we, why we created the second one. Um, and we'll go over the loop a little bit. So I'm the race director, uh, split second racing. Uh, Doug Rice is going to be doing uh, the timing. Does an awful lot of triathlon and 5Ks and all sorts of events in the region. Um, it is chip time, and I'll go with that in a little bit. And Woodland Trails, which is the site. So first off, just want to make sure one has the address. If you put in Google Maps, and uh, I'll let a few more people in. There they are. Good. Sorry about that. Uh, it is at Woodland Trails. It's a private uh, camping park uh, that has trails that were established. And through our partnership, they allowed us to help develop additional trails. And now we have a full trail network. And it's about a 5K loop that you'll be running. And we'll go over that in a little more detail in a minute. But basically put into Google Maps, Woodland Trails, New Jersey, not Woodland Trails, the street address. We're putting the 7 Babtown Road. It'll lead you right to the entrance. All righty. So here's the, uh, the schedule uh, for Saturday. Uh, 7.45, uh, we'll open up registration, packet pickup. Uh, the half marathon goes off at 9. Uh, for each of these races, we're asking that you're staged 15 minutes before the start yeah, time. Now. You know, so we can, uh, mm. can start right on time. Nine. Two more people. Nine. And if you can mute, thank you. Nothing. All right, I just muted everybody. But you can unmute yourself behind the space bar if you have a question or, or whatnot. All right, so uh, 9 a.m. the half marathon will go off, 10 o'clock the 10K, 11 o'clock 5K. So you should all finish around the same time, more or less. Uh, then we'll have some grab-and-go food. We'll have hot chocolate, hot coffee, and some snacks. Um, and, you know, just asking that. You know, we're going to try and do a little podium, but really not ask for people to congregate, trying to keep within COVID expectations and um, be able to continue having events like this despite the challenges. So we do packet pickup. Packet pickup is car-based. You'll drive up to our yellow pop-up tent. Uh, which will be right by the entrance to the park. Uh, you'll get your uh, running bib. If you ordered any fast wear t-shirts or sweatshirts, that's where you'll get that. Uh, we will also have additional t-shirts and sweatshirts on sale. So if you say, hey, that's really cool, I really want one, you'll be able to buy it, cash, PayPal, Venmo, what have you. Um, if you do have any guests, no, with, no. if you have any uh, guests with you, um, please give the names to the, to the folks at registration because uh, we do need to keep track of everybody in the park. Um, so just have that. Everyone must have a mask. We will have some masks available for sale. People forget masks, but by now, you know, bring your mask and just have it. Um, and again, you'll get everything you need to start off your race right there before you go to park. So, you know, you know you're not queued up in line. You don't have to worry about being six feet apart. You'll be in your car. Okay, and that's worked really well. The last three races worked really smooth. COVID-19, um, have to obviously touch on it. And again, you know, if you've tested positive, if you've been uh, displaying symptoms or, you know, or with someone that is, you know, let's keep everyone safe. Let's make a good decision for the community. We'd love everyone to come, but, you know, everyone make smart decisions for everyone's benefit um, at the event. Maintain your six feet social distancing, wear your masks before and after the event, obviously not while you're running. You don't want people having problems with breathing. Uh, there will be uh, four bathrooms as well as hand sanitizer near the start finish area. Uh, so plenty of, plenty of spots so you can uh, take care of that before and after the race. Uh, we are doing a time trial start. So each race will be queued up by its own with people separated and then go off maybe one or two at a time, 
and it only takes a few minutes for each class to go off. But the key is you're going to be chip time. So if you're gunning for a great finish, um, it's not going to buy who goes through the finish line first. It's buy your chip time. Um, recommend that you do bring your own hydration and nutrition. There is an on-course area that you'll be able to stage your food and drink. Talking more about for the half marathons, but if you feel the need, it's certainly there. We will have some products from Goo and others um, available uh, for racers. Um, but, you know, obviously the less that you're mixing together and, and having your own, the better. And again, at the end, grab and go food at, at the race end. Um, we did pretty much sell out of the initial run of race shirts. Um, so we were able to arrange a very quick short run of our 2021 gear. This is going to be the way over under trail run series wear. So there's a, uh, a race shirt and a really warm comfy hoodie sweatshirts. Those will probably sell out. Uh, we had them at our mountain bike race and they were really, really popular. Um, so at the event, the 20 bucks for the shirt, 40 bucks for the sweatshirt. If you decide today, oh, I really want one, um, you may be able to go back at registration, do an add-on that you can still order them with the 10% discount we were doing online. Um, and that's just logging into your run sign-up account, selecting the race, and do an add-on. Otherwise, again, they'll be available uh, at the race. Okay. So the course, let me walk through this. You'll be starting um, above the beach. There's kind of a flat gravelly area here and hopefully you can see that blue star. And then you'll be continuing um, straight out. And when you get to the other side of the lake, it's not a very big lake, so you'll be able to see it from the other side. You get to the other side, you'll be making a right. And then you'll make another right, which this is what we call the lake loop for the prior race. Um, but this time it all just feeds contiguously. So you don't have to worry about, did I do enough of this, this loop, that loop? You, there's one loop. So you're going to start, you're going to make your return, and there will be signs. This will be coned off here. You'll continue. This has a little bit of technical ability in this trail area there uh, by the lake. So just be smart, be careful. And you'll come out, and as soon as you finish out of the lake area, you'll be making a left and then following this around, and it'll put you right on the park road that you, that you drove in on. You'll be going around the park road. Again, alongside this area, there's plenty of spots where you can stage your food and drink, and you'll go around the park road. You'll continue all the way past where you came in, which is over here, and you'll be continuing here by the parking area, and this, again, will be coned off, and we'll have volunteers as well as staff there stationed to direct you. And you'll go straight across, go up and around. And this is a nice, flowy downhill, super fun, super fast. Um, you'll go basically across this, what we call the pit area. You have one major climb out of this, uh, which it's, it's pretty significant, but that's all right. You can do it. Come around. Um, and then tentatively, we'll have a, a, a aid station here. We may move that to more like by the start finish area. So we're still, still deciding on that. Um, you continue along the loop to call the Happy Rock section. This has all been hand built this year. Um, it's got some rock work, but all of it's runnable. And quite frankly, if anything just doesn't look quite right, walk it, walk around it. Plenty of room, be safe, be smart. No one's winning, uh, you know, a free mortgage or a million dollars. So uh, just be smart. Um, you come out of there, and then this is some beautiful single track that will take you up into an apple orchard where we have course tape. You'll run through the apple orchard. And then there's a nice downhill fire road that takes you back down where you'll finish the lap. And at the end of each lap for the 10K and the half marathon, you'll just make that left and continue like you did before. When you're done with the race and you've done your last loop, so the 5K, it's the entire loop just goes around. 10K, the first lap, you're gonna go this lap. The uh, half marathon, you'll have three of these, the last lap, Go straight the way you came in and go back to this staging area to the arch where the finish is. So hopefully that's clear. Um, and again, if you have questions, maybe I'll pause for a second. Anyone have questions about the map, the route, what to do as far as race day? And just hit your space bar. You should be able to unmute. Okay. 
if you have a question. Everyone good? We're, we're sent a chat. All right, I'll journey on. Just did a quick close up of that start finish area. Just uh, again, oh, got a few more people. Hold on, we got some people. Oh. Oh. Chat box popped up and then it vanished. So we'll figure that one out. So um, again, you're gonna be going from the, this raised area above the beach, be real obvious because there'll be a yellow start finish arch. You'll go straight out of the start, make your turn, go around, do your loops. The last loop, just go straight back the way you came at the start to finish under the loop, okay? Um, for the uh, half marathon of the 10K, there are finisher medals. We're doing certificates for the 5Ks. Uh, they'll be on the table uh, just past where you finish on the right-hand side or left-hand side. Um, we may actually try and do podiums. Um, just got a couple of questions here. I'm just pausing for a second. Uh, from Sandra, the course markers using same arrow signs or ribbon. Yes, they're all these uh, green arrow signs. Uh, the course is extensively marked. Uh, is each loop a 5K? Yes, that's actually a little bit longer than a 5K. It's actually about a 325, 33. So your 10K is gonna be doing a little more than a 10K. The nice thing is the half marathon is just gonna be four loops and you're gonna actually be about 13.2 miles. So you don't need anything special to do a half marathon. Um, Samantha, no, there's not mile markers, but again, each loop is about 3.25, 3.3 miles. So you'll know as you go around each loop where you're at. Okay, thank you for those questions, guys. I appreciate you saying those via chat. Um, so there will be um, a GoPro station at the finish. So your, your finish time and link to that video on YouTube uh, will be posted online right after the race. So you'll be able to access that whether you wanna show the video or, or still shots. We do have a professional photographer on staff, Mr. Chan, who takes amazing photographs. If you've been up on our Facebook page and looked at some of the shots, you're gonna have some stellar uh, images. The low res shots we give for free is just kind of a thank you to our racers uh, for coming out and being part of a way over yonder race at Go Adventure event. Uh, if you love a, sh a shot, download the high res or the prints. Those can be ordered directly on Victor's site. Uh, we send out a recap video or rather email. Uh, there'll be links to all of that and that helps support Victor and, and all his great work. But he takes absolute stunning shots and uh, I'm sure he'd be very excited with some great memories from the event. And then uh, at the end, again, we'll some have some happy drinks. Um, maybe a mystery keg of beer will show up, you never know, but there will definitely be hot chocolate and coffee and some good snacks uh, at race end. All right. Um, any questions about that so far? All good? Okay, motoring on. So 2021, uh, as we've been talking about, we are going to be expanding. We actually have uh, five events in the triathlon slash duathlon series. There will be four runs that are planned right now. Uh, this is tentative. We may adjust these dates a little bit, but this is right now what has been sketched out uh, for 2021. So again, if you get the, uh, the blue t-shirt or sweatshirt, that's the series t-shirt and sweatshirts for 2021. Uh, May, uh, we're going to have Running the Beast, which will be uh, the USA Triathlon Off-Road National Championships, Off-Road Triathlon is at Wayweanda, May 16. The day before, we're going to have trail runs and give the opportunity to run the Nationals course. And there'll be various lanes for that. Uh, July, we're going to have kind of a unique race. We're bringing back racing to Bel Air Ski Mountain in New York. Uh, there will be something we've created called the Bel Air Gondolas Run Challenge. You'll run a 7,500K uh, from Bel Air Beach up to the ski mountain area, up to the gondola. You'll get on the gondola and take a seven to 10 minute ride that takes you up over 6,000 feet. And then you'll run across the ridge and all the way down 
that side of the mountain and finish by the beach. That is going to be a very, very cool event and likely to sell out. That's, that's going to be an awesome, awesome event. Uh, October, we plan to be back at Woodland Trails. Again, potentially we might do two of these runs or even three of these runs. It's just a real, real great venue. They're a great partner. And by having a short track where we have a three, 3.3 mile loop, uh, we are actually looking at developing more trails uh, that'll be available in 2021. So we may even have a longer loop come next year. And then we are partnering with uh, Mountain Man, which is one of the longest run. Uh, they call it a biathlon, but basically do athlon where it looks like we're gonna be adding uh, trail runs to the event uh, in the morning before the uh, duathlon biathlon. So more will be coming. We're posting more on the website. Registration will be up soon. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot going on besides uh, getting this race off and making this one happen. So thank you. Questions. Um, I'm gonna to attempt to unmute or if, uh, or if you wanna chat, that's fine too. You should be able to hit the, the space bar. It should unmute you. Is that working? Does anyone have any questions? Oh, got a few more chats. Here we go. All right. Uh, Dan asks, is there a, f a fluid feed station? Uh, yes, we will. Um, depending on the, actually, that's a good question, at least the next one. Uh, we are a little bit short on volunteers. We had a few people that unfortunately had to uh, back out of the commitments. So if you have family or friend members that can help out, we do need additional folks uh, to help staff the aid station. Um, we will definitely have a table with drink and goo gels and granola bars and other things um, by the uh, start finish area by where you're doing your lap. If possible, we'll put a second one in the back area, but at least once per loop, you will have an opportunity to restock on, uh, we'll have water, we'll have goo roctane liquids, goo gels. Uh, we may have some waffles, but we definitely have some granola bars and some other snacks, um, you know, as you're doing that. And then again, at the end of the race. Um, Sandra asked trail series score points. Yes, it's gonna be a point series with awards based on results. Again, we're working on all of that. That's not live yet on the website, but it will be up there. Joanne, yes, we are having perfect race weather for Saturday. Uh, we're gonna be out there in the, in the rain in the morning tomorrow, finishing trail setup, but Saturday looks perfect. Um, the slides, Peter just asked, uh, actually this whole video is streaming live to Facebook and will also be posted on the YouTube channel. Uh, we'll try and send out the, the uh, PDF of the slides as well. Um, any other questions, anything that I've missed, uh, try to be as complete as we can. The big thing, come out, have fun. Uh, if you have any friends that were on the fence about coming, encourage them um, to come out. Um, um, Dawn, just PM me separately and we'll figure out how to connect you and your friend as far as you're running. Um, you know, and any other questions that we missed, send us an email, message us. Uh, we are going to be at the park pretty much all day tomorrow doing final setup. So we may not be as quick as we normally are, but we will certainly respond uh, tomorrow during the day. So we look forward to seeing everyone Saturday morning at Woodland Trails in Sussex, New Jersey. Uh, this is David from Race at Go Adventures. Look forward to seeing everyone Saturday. And thank you again. Have a good evening. <laughs>